And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And coming up for you, action from the Zweite Bundesliga. It's Jan Regensburg, and they face Hamburg. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, based on the way the visitors defend with such authority and excellence, they're going to be very hard to break down, you just feel, Stuart. Well, they've been so hard to break down this season, and key to that has been the centre-back combinations. They've looked so assured, they've been excellent right from the start. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, 4-4-2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively. And if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. Now look then at the Hamburg starting 11. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And so the battle commences. Robert Glatzel. Kittel in possession. Race. The super tackle and they've won possession. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing... Is this the moment? The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. And over it comes. Well, it might still work out for them. And thumped away. Excellent first touch under the circumstances there. Well, so close to getting that early goal there. But it was a wonderful save by the keeper, you have to say. No space for them here. And options in the centre. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. and players waiting at the far post and a strong glove on the ball from the keeper well they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing now what can they do from here well that's how to break the spirit of the attacker well they might be piling on the pressure but they've got to make it count in those situations that's for sure and there to intervene And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Higher. Well read to win possession back. Promising attack, this. High quality defending.
Well, no stopping him. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Can he play it in? Benedict Gimba. He can't hold on to it. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. Race. Well, he likes to run at them. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Playing it short. Kittel. And a throw in forthcoming. Options in the middle. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. And taken short. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, there it is. Hamburg have had the majority of possession, but in terms of creating chances, they've been well below their normal standards. Unless that changes quickly, it's going to be a really frustrating day for them. And teammates to play it to. And he's clear his lines. Surely! And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here's the replay. And just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So underway again here, one nil to score. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. So there goes the half-time whistle. It is an acceptable scoreline from the point of view of the visitors. They find themselves on top, Stuart. Well, we discussed it before the game. They are a brilliant team defensively. Their decision-making about when to press and when to delay the opposition has been spot on. I just can't see them conceding today. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Space and time for the cross. Benedict Gimba. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Race. Couldn't keep it.
Kittel. It is to be a throw-in. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Sharpreet Singh. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And take it away. Taking care of business defensively here. So a half an hour remaining. How can he take them on and beat them? Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. He's protecting it well. On the ball, Otto. He's lost it. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Sonny Kittel. Useful looking ball. Can they keep it out? Perfectly positioned to take it away. Kittel. Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. And taken short. He cuts it back. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Good-looking sequence. Can he finish this? Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. All hands on deck. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Winsheimer. Sonny Kittel. Manuel Winsheimer with it. And moving the ball nicely. Race. Now just the tackle that was needed. And so into the final five minutes. Benedict Gimba. Singh. Zuskov has it. Could be dangerous. Not a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Sean Lau. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Well, once more, their defensive display was so good. They just know exactly what their jobs are, where they should be at any given time, and they react so well to danger. That was almost perfect.